Hey everyone, Mrs. Klein here. Um, I have a new way to do some of our lessons that I'm going to try out. So I just wanted to see if this would work for our lesson for, um, let's see here, we are in May, week five, and this will be day four's lesson. So let's go ahead and see how this works. <clears throat> Okay, so I have, hey guys, it's me, Mrs. Klein. Welcome to our virtual math lesson. I'm going to try something new. Let's start by reviewing place value. We have the ones, the tens, and the hundreds column. Okay, so here again, let's review. We have the ones place value right here. We have the tens place value right here. And we have the hundreds place value right here. Let's build some numbers together in standard form. Okay, remember standard form is when we just use the numbers, the numerals. Okay, let's look at the number 345. What number goes in the ones column? Good job, go ahead and look at that. What number goes in the ones column? Yes, you got it. The five goes in the ones column. There are five ones in this number. Okay, let's think about this now. What number goes in the tens column? Yes, you guys got it. The four goes in the tens column. There are four tens in this number. I bet you know what I'm gonna ask next. How many hundreds are in this number? Yes, I heard somebody say it. Good job, you got it. There are three sets of hundreds in this number. Great work, guys. So we have, we built the number 345 and you can see all of the numbers in their place value columns. Here are some of the manipulatives that we have been using when we talk about place value. Remember, we have the units right here, which are the ones. We have the rods right here, which are the tens. And we have the flats right here, which are hundreds. Okay, again, we have the ones, the rods, and the ten, which are the tens, and the flats, which are the hundreds. What happens when we have a number, but we want to know what 100 more than that number is? Let's look at the number 132, for example. Let's go ahead and build it below. How many are we gonna put in the ones? Yes, we're gonna put two units in the ones column. Great job, guys. Okay, I bet you know what I'm gonna ask next. How many rods do I put in the tens column? Look at our number at the top, 132. How many rods do I put in the tens column? You are so smart. Yes, I put three rods in the tens column. Great work. Who can tell me how many flats I put in the hundreds column? That's exactly it, guys. I put one flat in the hundreds column. I have now built my number 132. This is the number 132. You can see there's one 100, three tens, and two ones, which all build up to equal the number 132. What is 100 more than 132? How can we use the manipulatives to easily add 100 to the number 132? <coughs> yes, that's it. We're going to add another flat to our number. 
All right, so there we are. We added another flat to our number. Go ahead and look at that. When we add the flat in, it changes the amount in the hundreds column. What number goes in the hundreds column now? What numeral are we going to put? It is no longer a one. You got it, guys. Yes, there are now two hundreds in the hundreds column. So now our new number is 232. Okay, let's go back to our original number of 132. Let's talk about what it looks like when we say we want a number 100 less than 132. Less than. Hmm. That means we take away, right? Yes, that's it. We're going to take a 100 flat away from the number in order to have 100 less than. Take a 100 flat away. I'm going to exit out and take it away. Now we have nothing in our hundreds column. We are now left with the number 32. If you count, you can see we have three tens and two ones, which is the number 32. Oh, we got it. Okay, so here's the recap. We started with the number 132. When we have 100 more than 132, we get the number 232. When we have 100 less than 132, we get the number 32. Let's keep going. So if I want to have 10 more than 132, what do I need to do, guys? You got it. We add a rod or another 10 to our tens column. Our new number is 142 because we have another 10. You can see we have one flat in the hundreds column. We have four tens in the tens column and we have two ones in the ones column. If I want to have 10 less than 132, what do I need to do? You can see I reverted back to our original number here, 132. I want to have 10 less than 132. <laughs> you could probably teach this lesson by now. Yes, I take a rod or a 10 away from the tens column. My new number is now what? Go ahead and count and get ready and tell me. You got it, guys. 122 is our new number. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our math paper now that now that we understand this concept. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We are now going to look at our math paper, which I hope I won't need to spend as much time explaining now because we did so much of it together already. You had the little lesson before. Okay, so they give us numbers up at the top and then they tell us they want to do 100 more, 100 less, 10 more, 10 less, one more, one less. Okay, so we're just gonna focus on the 100 more column for right now. So I have the number 146. Remember, there's six ones, four tens, and one 100. I wanna add another 100 because I want 100 more. What would that new number be? Good job, guys, I now have two hundreds. Here we go again. I need to just stick with those slides, huh? Okay. Two hundred. I still only have four tens, and then I still only have six ones. I only changed the hundreds column. Good job. 
All right, let's look at the number 235. There are five ones, three tens, and two hundreds. I want 100 more than 235. I'm going to add a 100 into that number. You are correct. So how many hundreds do I have now? Instead of two, I have, good job, three. So I have three hundreds. I still have three tens. And then I have five ones. Very nice job. Okay, let's go down and look at the hundreds less than. Okay, we're looking at this top number still, 146. I want 100 less than that. Remember, there are, there's one in the hundreds, there's four tens, and there's six ones. I want 100 less than. So I'm gonna take 100 away from it. If I take 100 away from the hundreds column, I have nothing there. So I'm just left with the numbers 46. I'm left with four tens and six ones. There's nothing here. We do not need to write a zero in front of it. We just write the number 46. Now let's look at this number. Our original number was 235, where we had two hundreds, three tens, and five ones. We want 100 less than that number. So we're gonna take 100 away from the hundreds column. How many hundreds am I left with? Yes, you guys got it. I have 100. I still have my three tens and I still have my five ones. So my number is 135. Okay, each time you guys move down, you're going to still look at the original number that you were given. So now I'm going to look at my 146 and I want to do 10 more. So now I'm looking at the tens column. So you guys, Mo all the numbers are going to stay the same in the hundreds. We're only going to be changing the tens column for these, okay? So one, one hundred, four tens, and six ones, but I want another ten. That's right. So I'm going to have one hundred. Now I'm going to have five tens, and I still have my six ones. Let's try this one. If we look at our original number, 235, I had two hundreds, three tens, and five ones. I want 10 more. I want another set of 10. Good. My 200 stays the same, but instead of three tens, I now have four tens. Good job. And I still only have five ones. So my new number is 245. So I could say 245 is 10 more than 235. Okay, now let's look at the 10 less row. If I have the number, original number 146, where I have 100, four tens, and six ones, but I want 10 less now. So I'm gonna take 10 away from the tens column. Okay, I'm gonna take a set of 10 away. So I'm still left with my 100. Instead of four tens, now I only have three tens. Good job. And then I still have my six ones. So I could say 136 is 10 less than 146. Let's look at this one. Our original number was 235, where I had two hundreds, three tens, and five ones. I want 10 less than that. So I'm going to take a set of 10 away from the tens column. So I still have two in my hundreds. I now only have two in my tens, and then I have my five ones still. So I could say 225 is 10 less than 235. You guys are doing great. Okay, let's go ahead and look at my 146 again. I'm only looking at the ones now. I only want one more than 146. So I'm only gonna add something to my ones column. I'm just adding a unit in. So my hundreds, I still have 100. I still have four tens, but instead of six ones, I now have seven ones. So I could say 147 is one more than 146. 
All right, let's go ahead and look at 235 again. And I wanna add one more to the ones um, place value. So I still have my 200s, I still have my three tens, and now instead of five ones, I have six ones. Great job, guys. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, except now we're gonna do one less. So I have my number 146. I still have one in the hundreds. I still have four tens. Guess what? I have five ones now, because I have one less than six. So I took one away. And if I have my number 235, we know I still have two hundreds. I still have three tens. Now, instead of five ones, I took one away. So how many ones do I have left? That's right, I have four ones, okay? I want you to try to do these numbers all on your own. You guys can do it. If you need help, go ahead and have your parents message me. Okay. And then let's look down here. One more than 103. So we're only, we're gonna add to the ones column. So we have one 100, we have no tens, and we have three ones. If I add one unit to the ones, I still have 100, I still have zero tens, and now I have how many ones? You got it, four ones. All right, 10 more than 378. So I'm gonna add a 10 to my tens column because I need 10 more. So my, I still have three hundreds. Instead of seven tens, how many tens do I have? That's right, I added another 10, so I have eight tens, good work. And then I still have eight ones. Great job. Okay, 100 less than 545. So now I'm going to be taking 100 away from my hundreds column. I have 500s, but I'm gonna take a 100 away. So how many hundreds do I have left? That's right, I only have four hundreds now. I still have four tens, and I still have my five ones. Great work, guys. Okay, if you look at D, it's worded a little bit different and that's okay. We're going to work through this together. It says blank more than 123 is 223. So what you guys need to do here is figure out which column changed. Did the ones change? Three, three, no, the ones didn't change. Did the tens change? Two, two, nope, they didn't change. Did the hundreds column change? Two, one. They did, okay? The hundreds column changed by one hundred, okay? It was 100, and look, now over here, it's two hundreds. So how many more did it grow? It did, it grew by one hundred. So you're gonna say 100 more than 123, is 223. Let's look at E. Blank less than 987 is 977. Let's compare and look at what place value changed. Did the ones change? No, seven and seven. Okay, let's look at the tens. Seven, eight. The eights, or the tens, I'm sorry, the tens column place value is different. It was eight tens, and now it's only seven tens. The hundreds column is still the same. We still have nine hundreds in both columns, or in both numbers. So all that changed was we had eight tens, and now we only have seven tens. So we took what away? That's right, we took 10 away. Good work, guys. Let's go ahead and do F together, and then I'm gonna have you guys do the rest on your own. So we have blank less than 422 is 421. Let's check which columns changed here. Our ones, did anything change? We had two ones, and now we only have one one. That changed. 
Our tens stayed the same though. We have two tens and we have two tens. Our hundreds stayed the same. We had four hundreds and we have four hundreds. So we went from two ones to one one. So we can say one less than 422 is 421. All right, so now you're gonna go back and you're gonna do it the other way where it says you're not gonna do the, the confusing way that we just did. Now we're going back to doing what you were doing over here. So one more than blank is 619. Oh, this is a little different. We'll do some of these together. One more than blank is 619. So we are only changing our ones column, okay? Because we're only adding one more. So when we added one more, we got a nine in our ones column. What did we add one to to get a nine? Yeah, we added it to an eight to get the nine. So we still have 110 and we still have six hundreds. So one more than 618 is 619. All right, I'm gonna let you do the last three on your own now that I've done some examples. And I look forward to seeing your work and how well you guys do. Thank you for joining along with me on that. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you liked it or not, and I will talk to you guys later. Love and hugs, bye.